we are starting to see a few people migrate over to Reverus platform because we do offer uh, folks who produce content independently a platform for making money on that content. Um, some folks who would uh, generally maybe be producing for regular television are showing up and posting content with us. So we um, have a really uh, notable, uh, notable one who's just come on board. Her name is uh, Liz and she is one of the creators, original creators of The Daily Show and she started posting her own uh, personal shows. She does interviews with uh, various celebrities in New York and records them and uh, she started uploading them to Rever, which is very exciting. Anybody can participate in our system, which is great. It's an open system. You come to Rever, you upload content. We review it for con uh, copyright infringement, hate speech, and pornography. And if your content has any of those things, we won't accept it, which means we have a very clean library. And what happens is we use um, an advertising technology to append an ad to your piece of content that travels with the content no matter where it goes on the internet. And when the ad is viewed, we share the revenue that it earns 50-50 with you. We split it equally. As you can imagine, there's a market for everything. So you're going to find some advertisers who are really looking for breadth, who are not wanting to pay top dollar to get exposure for whatever it is they're selling. And they're going to go out and they're going to tie themselves up with what you might consider lower value content, right? And then you're going to have brand advertisers who are looking for high value stuff that matches their brands. And so they'll ally themselves with more highly produced content. So I tell people that, you know, there's a market for everything. So the CPM ranges can start as low as $3, depending on the quality of the content, and travel up to $20, $25, even $30 and $35 CPMs. I see. Tell us a little bit about the new site and some of the functionality that you guys are bringing in now. Well, we ported it onto a new platform, which was important for us. We had to improve its scalability, and consequently it's been traveling a lot faster. It's a lot more usability for people who come to show, who come to view videos. What's also interesting about it is we've also gathered up all of our content and we've categorized it. We've organized it according to genre, so we've made it a lot easier for people to come and find what they're looking for. I also have a team of editors who actually pull out the very best of the best and group it into collections. So when you show up on the site, you can see featured content very easily and even pick it up in little widgets and share it in bunches with other people. We also program feeds for our syndication partners the same way so that we give them the very best content that's coming through the transom so they can attract more traffic to their sites as well. People often organize themselves around media in social networks, around common interests, and when you give them a piece of utility or uh, some kind of thing that they can use to actually um, demonstrate that commitment to whatever it is, um, it comes very useful to them. So if they're viewing a piece of content or they have a collection by a creator that they really like, they can take a widget and they can embed it on their page and share that content with their friends and point them to it. And in Rever's model, interestingly enough, they can also make money by doing so even if they never upload content because we share revenue with syndicators as well.